So today I am going to pretend to be Jeffree Star. Just kidding. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Alexa and welcome back to my channel. I've had a pretty rough couple of days um, and I was out of town this weekend and when I got home, my best friend in the whole entire world, Robin, she um, told me to check my mail, so I did. And she had sent me this. Oh, it is Jeffree Star's Blood Sugar Palette, and it is absolutely gorgeous. And I know it's not new, but it's new to me. So I am going to be playing with it today and giving it a nice little review. So this video is dedicated to Robin. Love you, girl, and thanks so much for my present. It really helped me get in a better mood. You're the best. So, so far, um, I love this packaging. It's like leather, and it has like little buckles. So when you open it, it, when you open it, it looks like this. So there's a bunch of different colors in here, some neutral, some brights, kind of out there colors, and there's a huge mirror here too which is just fantastic um all of the names on here are uh hilarious they are like some of them are like glucose prick um fresh meat root canal o positive donor ouch cavity coma extraction tongue pop candy floss sugar cane cake mix ouch cavity sweetener I think I just said all of the names, so whatever. We're just gonna get right into it and we are going to be playing with this palette today, see how it is. So I'm obviously not gonna be using all of the colors here, but I do wanna give you guys a pretty good review and honest, so I'm just gonna swatch them all on my arm just so you can see what they all look like because they are all so gorgeous and I love them. And a fun little thing that he did, so in all of these is like his um, logo that he has, but then in like a few of them, like he has like the medical logo and then on the other one is like a little needle which i thought that was like super cute and fun and different um but yeah the rest of them do have his logo the jeffree star logo so i like this palette so far so for the swatches i had to use two arms because there's so many colors i was running out of space so here are the first 12 colors um ignore my pasty pale disgusting arm um, but yeah, these are them. I didn't get the best swatches on these first few because they're super light colored um, And I didn't really want to waste that much on a swatch. So here are the last uh, six colors All swatched out again ignore my disgusting veiny arm. All right, so I'm back I got some eyeshadow on my new white shirt, but it's okay. We're just gonna power on through. All right, so to start with this palette, I am going to um, highlight the brow bone here. And to do that, I think I'm just gonna use this glucose color, which is just this white one down here. Really give uh, the brow bones, you know, a good pop. Before we go any further, I completely forgot. I am working on a bonus video for this week, so stay tuned for that. I'm super excited, and I hope you guys are too. Um, it's going to be pretty fun, so stay tuned. So as like a transition color, I'm gonna be using the color right next to it, which is Sugar Cane, which is this color right here. And for that color, I'm just gonna be putting it all over my lid. So this shade turned out super nicely. It's a great transition color. Um, I didn't use a lot of product and you can definitely tell that I have something on my eyes. So it's a perfect uh, transition color and um, the powders too in the palette aren't like powdery. They're, I don't even know how to describe it, but they're like smooth almost. I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for, but um, they're, they're, it's a different consistency than I have ever used in an eyeshadow palette before. So I'm liking how they go on. It's like a little goes a long way. And I mean, there's pretty good pigmentation. This is a definitely a much lighter color, um, but I only put like two coats on each eye. And I mean, I think they look good. So moving on. Um, the next color I think I'm gonna do is uh, Tongue Pop. Interesting name, which is this color right down here. And for that one, I'm going to do 
more of like the outer corner here up and in to kind of blend it all in with the transition color. Ooh, I am loving these colors. There is some great pigmentation here so far. I only have two shades on, um, but I am loving it. Loving the red. Yas, honey. Yas. All right, so next color I'm gonna do is Cherry Soda, which is this deep red down here. Um, I just kind of used all three of these, which I think was kind of his thought setting this palette up is to use, you know, these colors together. You know, like they usually do when they make palettes. So that was a stupid comment. And I'm sorry, Jeffree Star, if for whatever reason you ever stumble upon this video that I made such a stupid comment about your palette. Moving on. So that color is obviously super pigmented. I hardly put any on and it looks beautiful. Um, I'm back on my old tape trick. Um, I know in one of my previous videos I said not to use this, but your girl's back on her bullshit. So I'm gonna go in with the shimmer to, you know, pop this look off because it's not popped enough. I'm gonna go in with this donor, which is this silver, er, this gold looking one right up here. I don't have any setting spray. Ooh, I have a cup of water next to me. I really just don't feel like getting up, I'm lazy. So I'm just gonna make it wet. All I have to say is, I'm impressed. And you know what I look like? I have the color scheme of the Avengers right now. Which by the way, that movie is coming out this Thursday. I actually don't know when it's coming out, but I'm not gonna go see it. John is gonna go see um, the midnight premiere. So I get to sleep alone that night. Anyways, back to the palette. Um, yeah, I actually really like this. Um, I kind of did um, more with the gold in the corner and I kind of ombre it out. So you can still kind of see there's some uh, some gold right out here, but I ombre it out a little bit so red was still the main focus of the eye look. Um, but yeah, I really like this. Yes. Now the moment of truth. Yes, this is definitely daring, but I do really like it. I, I really do look like a superhero. Um, so to finish this look off, um, I'm going to use the shade Extraction, which is this shade right down here, this kind of moony purple one. Um, I'm gonna be using that on the lower lash line. So that is a lot more pigmented than I remember the swatch on my arm being. So, yeah, we got some maroon, we got some red, we got some gold, like, what are you gonna do? I like it though. I think I'm gonna actually mix it in with O positive to kind of calm the maroonness down a little bit. All right, so there you guys have it. Uh, this is the final eye look today. Um, using Jeffree Star's Blood Sugar Palette. Um, it's definitely summery and bright, and I really like it. There's great pigmentation in all of these colors. Um, I would definitely recommend this palette to anybody. Um, and also, I just realized it's cruelty-free, which makes that even better, because no one likes to hurt little animals. Isn't that right, guys? Neither of them are paying attention to me, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, so I would definitely, definitely recommend this palette to anybody. And thank you again so much, Rob, for this beautiful palette. Um, we'll definitely be sharing this when we go to Florida in two weeks. Can't wait for that. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And stay tuned for my bonus video this week because it's going to be a good one. And it's my first bonus video, so... Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next week. Bye.